In this video, I'll be showing you how to add modifications to new Super Mario Bros. Wii on your Dolphin emulator. You can add modifications like Lava Apocalypse or Andy's Afros. There are plenty of other more mods, you just gotta find them. The first thing I need you to do is go to the link in my description. There will be a gift so you can follow along along with these steps. You'll need the original base game and you'll also need the mod itself. If you went to the link in the description, you now have them both. The next step is to open up the folder that has your Dolphin emulator in it. In order to add mods to your Dolphin emulator, you must have a folder that says user within this section. The user folder is the folder you need to add the revolution patches to the actual game. If you don't have a folder that says user, I need you to go to the video right here, link in the description, and I showed you an easy and simple way how to add revolution and get this user folder in your Dolphin emulator. The next step we want to do is click on the folder that says user. We will be looking for a folder that says load. At this point is where you want to extract your modification for your game. Within the modification of the game, there should be an actual folder that has the game textures in it. And there should also be an XML file in there for you. Within this load folder that, we, that we're in now, this is where we want to drop the actual textures or the folder that has the name of the game on there. Also within this load folder, you should see a folder that says revolution in there. This is where we'll drop the XML file. You want to simply double click the revolution folder that you see, and then you want to go ahead and extract the XML file, and you want to drop it there. Once you do that, you want to simply exit out of them both, Reopen your Dolphin emulator and go to the game that you just added the modifications to. Once you're there, you want to right click that game and you want to click start with revolution patches. Once you're there, you want to go to open revolution XML. And you want to simply pick the modification that you just added the XML. Click open and then click start. The game should start up for you. If this helped you in any way, shape, or form, please click that like button and go ahead and come back.